we have a new problem. What's up? He's starting to hit the factories overseas. He found the one in Taiwan. He's found the one that we have. Over I mean, no, in we make American on death robots. I mean, uh, 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 the, helpful he, robots. He found the emergency factories. Okay, this is serious. This is getting out of hand. Anyway. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to our new episode of SC... Uh, not SCNS. I'm just like... Uh, what's up, all you action what figures is, and toy enthusiasts? SCNS Live. It's SCNS Live. It's a great show. But what's up, all you action figure enthusiasts and toy collectors out there? It's time for Alternate Heads, the Toy Talking Podcast. And I am back. My I name wanna, is Jason the X. That's my buddy over there. I want to apologize. Bryce is not here today, and it's my fault. <laughs> it this really is this, your it's fault. It's legitimately my fault. So, uh, as I've mentioned already, I stream now, and I have a and we stream on I stream on Saturdays, but we also record the show on Saturdays. So I forgot to text Bryce in it, and I was trying to coordinate for when we were doing the show to coordinate with the fact that I have mm-hmm. like an eight-hour stream planned for the day. And that, it was it was my fault. I forgot. I'm sorry, Bryce. Yeah, this is really his fault. Uh, I I'm busy doing things and trying to edit video and stuff. So, anyway, uh, got some good reviews coming up for you guys this week as well. Actually, I should have already had one Monday on the new amazing Yamaguchi All Might. It's on the table, and it's a decent figure. But uh, we're we're, we're going to go we're, ahead. We're going to talk start, about that. Let's go ahead and start getting into some new acquisition speed. You, you should go first. Well, I don't have much this week, but I got to tell you, uh, so looking at everything on the desk looks pretty good, but it is a small week. I mean, you found waves, so. It's... Yes, it's still a small week for me, though, because I have found every figure that I need for the month mm-hmm. minus the new Power Ranger stuff. We're distracted by a cat climbing a chair. I'm actually rather impressed with how quickly and flawlessly she did that, though. And she is a, she is a good kitty. Anyway, that is that is our new our new buddies, uh, Rizzo and Eli, who you've gotten to meet. But anyway, let's stop talking about cats and let's move on to some toys. So I, I'm going to go ahead and start this off. This show is about man QC issues that we have been encountering lately. Yeah, we're going to talk about some QC and, uh, stuff. Do and, you, if that's the case, do you want to just talk about your one new and then I'll go over my stuff and then we'll jump into the last one that well, goes into I mean, the QC problem? Okay, I'll start off with um, or last do you want, week. Or do you want me to just go first? Uh, go first. Go ahead. All right. So go ahead. I'll go first. Uh, so a few new things that I picked up. I was off last Friday, and now I'm headed into a vacation as well. You made good use of your time. <laughs> I did. I did. I f- knew that Walmart was getting the new Marvel Legends Venom figures in stock, and I went to every freaking Walmart that could possibly exist in the DFW area in an attempt to find it because I loved the Venom movie. I loved the Venom design, even though he didn't have the white spider that the fact that Spider-Man coming later, the fact that the Spider-Man wasn't in the movie makes total sense as to why he doesn't have the white spider. So I loved that design and I really wanted that Venom. So I went everywhere and I ultimately finally came across it. And then the same day I uh, came across the Avengers wave as well. So we'll start off now. Hold up the Venom wave. You had to go get, they had to get it out of the back, right? They did. Uh, okay. Some people are finding the Venom Wave just kind of out on on the shelves. I didn't. I have found a few places where they had the Venom Wave. I will give credit to one Walmart, though, that did something I have never had any Walmart in history do. This should be surprising. I went to the, uh, a Walmart in Louisville. They are completely redoing everything in that Walmart. Like, half the Walmart's just empty. It's ridiculous. Yeah. They took out the electronic section. They what? took out they took out the sections that are by the toy department. It's the shelves are just gone. They're redoing everything in that Walmart, which is impressive. Like to me. a redesign of the entire Walmart? I just, guess. Wow. Yeah, it has okay. to be. So I go to the back. Um I was going to get cat litter for something. Is my spoke... cat down there messing with you or something? No, okay. No, okay. No. There's like there's a, I went to go get cat litter and I spoke to one of the managers, or I spoke to some associate, and they said that they had eight. At this point... That's the case. That's the case, yeah. this point, I have already talked to about six or seven Walmarts that also said that had eight and wouldn't let me have the figures. They just wouldn't go check for me. They were like, it's impossible to go back there. I have a buddy. He doesn't work for Walmart, but he works for AT&T who gets to go to the back of Walmart. And he's like, I don't know why they're saying that to you. They're super organized behind Walmarts. Fun fact, they're stupidly organized in Walmarts. They just won't check. It's Walmart. So this woman called the assistant store manager to come talk to me i wasn't being upset i wasn't doing anything she just called him over i go to talk to him and he went 
man, I'm not going to go back there for you. And I was just like, I'm just asking you to check. He went, no, 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 no. I, it's not that I don't want to help you. You can see we're redoing all of our Walmart, the, the whole thing. It would literally be impossible for me to go back there. And I've got so much on my plate. So if you would like, final door at the very end is where our Tory department keeps all their stuff. Go on ahead and look. And I went, did you just give me permission to go and find my own stuff? You got the behind the scenes. And he went, go for it. And I went, I'm not going to turn that down. So I, I, would, went, I would, okay. So you, you've seen, I went behind the doors. I went into their warehouse. This particular Walmart had three separate like warehouse spots. Like for some reason they were cut off by walls too, but I went back there. I was dressed like this too, not the different shirt, but I had like my workout pants on and someone did actually catch me back there, but they didn't make any fuss about it. It was really funny. I go back there a hundred percent credit to that man. Even if I had successfully found the box, no way was I going to be able to climb over all those pallets worth of crap. But I checked. Oh, I checked. Oh, well, I tried to check every box. And unfortunately, I got a little scared because I, I, even though the ASM gave me permission, I didn't want the other employees to freak out because I actually got to go around and I was looking for the box, but it's pro it was probably on a pallet somewhere. And I left happy as I could be having never found the box because I was like, he wasn't lying. He wasn't lying. You know, it's uh, you say that about Walmart being super organized and everything, but uh, Sean, who used to be part of the show, he would just go back there. Yeah. Like, like he would like not ask for permission and would find stuff and just bring it out. Apparently, he like knew what their stock system was. <laughs> so but, that was the thing. My buddy has access to the Walmart's inventory, so he could take uh, take a look at something for me if he really wanted to. I never ask him to because I forget. Okay, we're gonna have to stop now, doing yeah, that. Yeah, now now it's an that, issue. That box uh, is about to fall. But it was it was actually really entertaining for the fact that that was even happening to begin with. Um, and I went to a couple other WalMarts. So on that Friday, I went to a Walmart in Allen, which is for anyone who wants to know, that's forty minutes away from where we live right now. Well, not well, for, for me. you. It's twenty. <laughs> yeah, it's twenty minutes for you. That's in my hunting. Yeah, but, uh, but it takes me twenty minutes to get to your place, which isn't bad. Oh, she's going for the Gundams. Oh. Uh, so it's, it's not too far from where I, you know, from where I was. And I was like, you know what? I was prepared to go to 10 Walmarts, if not more that day, I was going to go far, but I got to Allen and I met the world's worst associate, which I have never been so rude to someone. And I don't mean Karen rude. I mean, I was just unlocked and I was pissed. Like this guy told me that he had trouble walking. And I don't mean like, oh, he had a disability. And of course that was the case. I mean, he was just like walking's harder than you think. I was like, oh, you dick. So I went and spoke to another manager and they went back. They did find it for me. They okay, found it then. within five minutes. They got me the whole case. The only weird thing about that was like, we can't let you take the box out. And I was like, okay. But they're like, we brought you a cart though. And I was like, okay, you know, you want to be weird. You be weird. Fine. Uh, but I managed to get the entire wave. So okay. I have Venom, Carnage. Morbius, Gwenpool. Uh, I keep saying Gwenpool for some reason because I don't actually think Gwenpool's an actual character, it's even not. though I know she is. Gwen, yeah, she is. Yeah, Gwenpool's over Gwenpool's there, but it's Ghost Spider. The, it's Ghost Spider. Oh, she did something dumb. Hey, little cat. You're <laughs> oh. going to make your little cameo appearance over here? No. So here's uh. a cat. Uh, and it also came with Phage and Miles. Careful of the stuff. Came with Phage and Miles and the build of figure Venom Pool. I will start off by saying I almost didn't get any of this wave but Venom. I don't know what you're doing, but okay. That's my water. This is all just attention. Just throw it back on the floor. <laughs> uh, so basically, I almost didn't get any of this wave. But the more I looked at it, the more I wanted it. So I picked up a Venom for me and you because there was you. two to a case. Uh, this Carnage is fantastic. Phage is yes. a nice collection to symbio uh, to the symbiotes, and I wanted that Morbius because even though he is a '90s Morbius, I was half convinced that that was going to be the new movie Morbius because it looked that good. And then, of course, I got Ghost Spider, and we did the review. You can check that review up on Alternate Heads uh, right now. I was going to plug that, but thank you. Uh, and then, of course, there was the Miles, which I hated the Miles. I honestly am not a fan of that I, figure. Man, the I, feet on that half, figure. What half is going on here? the figure is textured, and then the body isn't. They cut corners. Um, so I'm I, disappointed in the soft, rubbery feet. It was super what? bad. 
unfortunately that figure is not even that figure is not selling on my ebay but when i do a lot selling he'll be thrown in there uh but the venom pool blew me away it's super textured head to toe mm -hmm. i th this when we rank build the figures for the year this figure may take number one between strong guy i'm gonna really have to think about it but i was really impressed and then on my way to jason's i went ahead and i looked up the dcpi for the new avengers wave for the video game stuff and I found the video game wave at your target. Mm. Hey, I I knew it wouldn't be a big deal for me to be picking those up because you have no intention of getting this wave at all. Uh, some of them I do want. Some of them you want, but at the same time, you didn't. It, it wasn't a priority for you there, so I didn't feel like the need. I have sold over half the wave because I wasn't impressed. I, I, had, I kept the Captain America. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I like the new head sculpt, and when you have the older head sculpt on top of it in the black, it looks better. The new head sculpt, which I brought the the blue one, mm -hmm. I've already lost the shield. I don't even think about the shield, okay? But I put I give them like a normal gun. The head sculpt on here looks a lot better in person than I was anticipating. Uh, well, keep going. I'll get I'll get to the to other. I found the blue Iron Man, which, by the way, I didn't say this in the review because I didn't have the figure. It is exactly a repaint of the Star Boost armor. So a friend of mine who also collects Marvel Legends asked me, are you going to use the Iron Man hat for a custom of you? I don't see it. He's a little too white. I don't see it. Hey, we already started working on your custom. I just haven't made any progress on it in a couple months. Uh, is there another cat over there? No, that was me. Okay, I accidentally that's you. hit the cable. Uh... But I have, it's an exact repaint of the Star Boost armor, but in blue. But uh, you know, oh, it's, an, it's, an armor, it's an Iron Man. I threw him up there. Mm -hmm. You know what a problem is, though? And I didn't realize this until after the review. You can't put that head on the other Iron Man, the regular red one. The <laughs> neck's too long. So they made it long neck, but it doesn't look bad on Star Boost and the atmosphere because of the rubber overlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shortens the neck. But I like the Tony head, so I haven't taken him off of that blue armor the blue head actually looks really nice it's just i don't like the tony head on the star boost armor so i'll figure something else out there making a different tony stark custom probably with that head but moving on to the other the other portion kang, of the way that i am interested in kang the conqueror this is a good update i love kang the conqueror this figure is astounding and i can't wait to get an mcu version of him now that he's been cast oh yeah I honestly kind of want that look for Kang, in the, except for the tunic. I don't want the tunic. They're going to update it. I feel like they're going to give him and more. They've done a good, I, I mean, I have no complaint. I, I, no, 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 I have no. confidence I, in I, I to feel be like they're going to give him a very comic accurate look, but in the same way they did with Thanos. Yeah. I mean, I have no, I, I have all the confidence that they're going to translate the Hasbro customer. took my balls and they went, hey, you like, you like Thanos? Okay. <laughs> we can talk about that uh, later. Well, actually, that's, we need to get our new segment going. Uh, but anyway. Of course, the other figures that came in that wave, which are not on the table, are Jocasta, Thunderstrike, and the Falcon. And I was not impressed All of those with should have kept except for the Falcon. I am not a fan you of most like, comic yeah, book figures. I, I am, and... I like some of them. Don't get me wrong. Hence Kang on the table. Or Morbius, or Phage. Like, there are a few that will really grab me from just what I read. But a lot of comic book figures I don't like because I don't think they're detailed enough. And I know that pisses off, like, half the community because yeah. everyone either... Right here. You either love Screw the you. MCU figures and don't like comic, or you love comic and don't like the MCU. I take them all. Sometimes you like do it. Yeah, you I love them both. equally, like my children. I tried to do both, all but I couldn't do it, and I needed to save a little bit of money. So I sold those figures, and I will admit there is this there is a following out mm -hmm. there because all three of those figures sold for in five minutes. But yeah. I charged fifteen dollars because I figured I kept the build a figure, which was Joe Fix It. From the Avengers wave, which I'm not happy we got. Not quite, gr not quite gray. It's not quite gray, and I'm not happy we got this. I wish it had been regular There's, Hulk. It's like from a distance he could be gray, but he's still kind of green. He uh, is still green. Do you have the gray Hulk? Um, I do. Have you tried popping the head and hands on I that? I have not. I've seen some people do it. It's not bad. I will have to take a look into it. Uh, but I picked up Joe Fix It. Because I actually don't have any intention of putting him with any of my Marvel Legends. I want to put him with my My Hero Academia stuff. It's it's a good figure. It looks... I love this suit. The suit is good. The figure is good. I actually don't mind it. Again, I'm, uh, I'm still angry that they called this video game Wave 2 and there's only none. Yeah, there's two figures in there. There's two free... And they're re-releases. There's two repaints and an alternate costume for Hulk when we haven't gotten a normal Hulk. 
I'm so pissed about it. But here we are. But I kept the Joe Fix It because one, I realized that I keep most of the Build a Figure stuff anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll probably be selling some. And of also, my older, it's good. I, I'm gonna be selling some of my old Build a Figure stuff. But I, I kept that figure. So I really only kept like half of those. It's just something about a Dapper Hulk that I like. The other figures I picked up, um, not going to spend much time on the rest of these, is the updated face print for Kanan for the Star Wars Black Series. I mm-hmm. like it a little bit better. I, th- I just think it... Plus, my old Kanan was super loose and was falling apart, so yeah. I just kept this one. Uh, yesterday, I got the SH Figure Arts Aka Ranger. Yay! Uh, looks cool. You ha- If you're going to love Super Sentai, like Jason's it's Force OG. Feet, this is the, new- this this is the, the man. This is number one. Where it starts. Yep, so I had to have him. And then, of course, I got the amazing Yamaguchi All Might, which has a lot of problems, but also has a lot of good. It's got a good stand now. It's got a good... Po- He's probably going to stay that way, if I'm being honest with you. I'll probably put the effect piece on his arm and put him in the cabinet like that. I think any touch on that stand, though, would knock it over. But it does The stand's look- a little weak, but that could just but be I, mine. But I, I actually just tightened your stand up. It yeah, was but that could Figma just be- stands do that from time to time. There is one more figure I picked up that I didn't put on the table, uh, but you did. But I have it. But we we're going to talk about that last. You go. So uh, I don't have much this week. Uh, I, I, I'm looking for rangers. I haven't found them. Um, I still The want moment pimp- you find those three rangers, the green, the putty, and the red, you let me know, and I will pay you for them. But um, the I picked up uh, at uh, Target. They put out the Masterpiece Ratchet from the movie. This completes my movie Autobots, and I'm very happy about that. He looks really good. A lot of good accessories on it. I love the gun arm. His mouth even opens, which is cool. But the funny thing about this, if you look at the transformation of Ratchet on screen in the movie, it's pretty damn close to what they did on screen, and I appreciate that. The other one I picked up this week, and uh, you, you got it. You were disappointed in it. Disappointed in it. I mean, but I get, needed to I make may, up for that one thousand toys Halo figure that I, I bought. I may not finish this line. I, I may be done with this line when I go through my massive rip of my figures that I'm trying to do. Um, this li- this figure may go with it. So I picked up the new uh, Wicked Cool Toys because apparently it's not Jazzwares, but it's it's Jazzwares. But they still have Wicked Cool Toys on the box. It's probably a partnership. I don't know. It's um, it's. It's weird. I got the box over here, but uh, yeah, it's WCT Wicked Cool Toys. There's nothing uh, noting Jazzwares on I, here. At I all. promise it's Jazzwares. I understand that. I'm just saying what's on the box. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is a division of this company. But regardless, back to the figure. That Thousand Toys Master Chief I picked up was kind of disappointing, and that review's going up this week, and it's going to be a ripping review. I'm telling you right now. It's not so going to be. So I wanted this one. I'm looking at it in box. The proportions are good. I like the visor. I want Things to say, along with you, before you get to where you're headed, I thought the same thing as well. All of the Master Chiefs, all of the Halo figures in this line look incredible. Mm-hmm. I hope they make a Master Chief from 4 where it's super highly detailed like they were in the games. Yeah. This is a good 2 Halo. This I think this is this 2. That's infinite. Is it? That's Regardless, I, I think they look great. There's some ingenuity on here. Let's let's get to the good points. There's some ingenuity. I love the pegs on the hips that you can turn around and then you're able to store a gun on there. Yes, it's true. I like that. There's a peg in the back that stays there for the gun, but you know what? We're not going to look at the back of it. It's true. But then we start getting, he's got some battle damage. I love the visor. Good use of chrome on there. And all the joints feel pretty good. Like moving him around, some of them, but there's inconsistency in the joints. The toes are very loose, whereas the knees are are um, are very tight. But then you start to get into QC problems. With that peg that we say they can turn around and you can plug like his little sidearm on here, that peg falls out like nothing. It's too easy. You can't, if you put that peg on there, it just falls. It just, which yeah, which it's, means it's that there's no it. reason to have it flipped around. And granted, this isn't just one figure. We both picked up this figure. We picked up two of these. So then I get into the problem. I like to have my figures. I'm right-handed. I'm a right-hand shooter. So I put it in the right hand. The, left, the right arm just free spins. Like when I got out of the package, I, you sent me a video I did. of you spinning the arm like a freaking pinwheel. So mine had a worse problem and than yours. And yours was the left that mine you sent me. Mine was both. Ooh. When I had the figure, so what happened was, is one of my arms, uh, when I got my figure out, I may have just rubbed the mic, 
Yeah. When I got my figure out, my right arm was ridiculously loose. My left arm was kind of loose, and the bicep swivel was turned this way. So if I tried to do it, like do it down, he was resting against this, and it was awkward. But and I heated it up. I did everything I could. It would not move, and it bothered me. And then while I was messing with it, something in the joint caused it to go. So I could take the figure and do this, and it was like, oh, 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 oh. so in circles. It wouldn't hold a pose. It wouldn't do anything. I returned my figure to my local target and picked up another Master Chief. I made them go to the back to get one for me. Fun fact, if you look in the box, not every case comes with all the figures. That particular case came with four Master Chiefs. Uh, there may have been four figures in the box. there's three other figures in the way. Four box. Yeah, four in the box. Three Master Chiefs, one of the one with the girl, with the unmasked girl's head sculpt. They had, that's the way it came. So I picked the Master Chief I thought looked the best, opened it up. Right arm was still doing the same thing, but left arm doesn't. I have thrown my Master Chief figure under a desk somewhere. I haven't looked at it since. So what I have observed is, okay, my right arm on mine actually does have some resistance, and I'm feeling what almost feels like a soft detent when I move the left arm. When I move the left arm, the right arm spins. So what I did was I went on and just popped off because at this point I'm like, this thing can't even. It can't even put his arm up. There's nothing worse so that you could do to that figure. I pop it off, and I and I'm gonna include some pictures here. But what I found was not even a mushroom peg. It's just a peg, on a smaller peg. So I tried fattening up the the largest part of the peg that only holds the arm in so it must like you discovered when we looked at it it must be the smaller peg that's actually providing the friction and i fattened it up a little bit i got some improvement but not a lot enough that it's not like free spinning so i'm gonna try fattening up the joint but already i'm like i have done a lot for a figure a out of the box of work. for your first wave now this is their first wave and for me, it's enough that I will not pick up any more. Because I only... I don't, I don't want any more either. I only wanted Chief, and if they made Cortana. That was the two figures in I, that line that I would have wanted. I will revisit them on a Series 2. I will revisit them only if they make Cortana. I want to see if there's any improvement. And uh, I don't know, like you said, we're, you know, is it with cool toys or jazz wares? Either way, it's, it's disappointing. Because it, it, this is it, not the quality that we have expected from Jazzwares. Like, just look, look. We'll give. I have a good example because you hate this figure, even though I don't. The Legacy line from Power Rangers was one of the weakest joints that I have ever had because it was either hit or miss. Mm -hmm. I bought the movie figures when they first came out. They were garbage. I hated them. This figure, while the joints feel super loose. They could still stay. And they can support holding their weapons, too. And they can support. But if I do this, you know, it's moving around, but it'll stay in a whatever pose. That won't. No. And I, I've just found a general inconsistency within the joints. I'm going to try fattening up that arm again. Granted, since my left arm is solid, he's holding the weapon just fine. It, But, this but is, here's the thing, though. You're, you have your arm still down. You're down and you have the arm bent, so it's holding well, you, it like if this. If you take him and try to like point his weapon, it's it's fifty fifty if it's gonna hold up. I mean, I'm gonna try to fatten up mine as well, but I highly doubt that I'll keep this figure. But I, I I'm doing a lot of work already. I have not finished, but dude. So this brings us into some of the QC issues that we have been seeing as of late with this year. With just can I, I'm gonna point out one one big one that okay. bothered me that has been fixed. The Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder White Ranger. Perfect example. Now, when they released that figure, I actually threw away that other head. It's in the garbage can right now. I did too. So, they missed a huge paint application. The visor is supposed to have a giant black line going all around the mm -hmm. visor. And I'll include some pictures of that. They did not paint it. It's a definitely was a QC issue. It was definitely a factory issue that the Hasbro, which I 100% say... Hasbro looked at it and went, it's fine, put it out. Because they thought it looks good enough. But it wasn't. No. Everyone was pissed. No. So Hasbro re-released the head as a piece if you contacted them. I got mine in yesterday. You got yours in last week. Uh, yeah, at some point. I sent you a picture. But regardless, I'm going to give them credit. They fixed it. 
and at no cost to us. It's true. It was just in my this, mailbox. Let's 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 face it. For them to manufacture and postage to send these out, this cost them some money. It did, but it gained loyalty for the line. Exactly. Which only makes me more confused as to why Wave Seven said, "Let's just re-release Dino Thunder White and throw in all repainted figures." Yeah. You mean uh, uh you mean uh, Mighty Morphin White. Yeah, Mighty Morphin yeah. White, Mighty Morphin Green. D- did you notice that the box for Mighty Morphin White is the same as Series 1? Yeah, it's not even, it's not <laughs> even repeated. The only yeah. thing that's new about the box is if you were to get the Target exclusive Dark Series. Oh, did, is he in the Dark Series? He's a part of the Dark Series, yeah. They I didn't, didn't they, see... It, 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 a lot they of didn't show didn't the show box. It. Okay. The box is one of those redesigns They're really well. trying to like sweep that under like, okay, and, and there's, there's... Yeah, no, no. White. But regardless, I'm going to give, like you said, Hasbro credit they fixed this and at a cost to themselves hopefully this tells them hey guys we really can't screw up like this again they need to realize and this was one of the problems they, they keep saying that power rangers is a beloved franchise that they understand they bought the series itself mm-hmm. this means they have to know how all of it, it yeah they need <laughs> to know that it's important but over this last year the power rangers has felt like an afterthought for their toy lines because marvel sells well Mm -hmm. star wars sells extremely well but anytime a series like theirs starts to feel like an afterthought it somehow gets the axe however however we have pointed out hasbro you know lawyer uh, i don't don't know legend at this point john warden who was over transformers is on that line now and I have confidence just with that. They just put one the, of their top guys the on, new, on Lightning here's Collection. Here's the thing. That Wave 7 was made, had to have been made technically before he got there. Oh, of course. So the fact is that they're making the Monster Series. The fact that they're making those two packs, mm-hmm. even if it's B-Squad versus I feel A-Squad, like this is some of his innovation coming This is in there. where we're headed, and I love it. But Wave 7 shows that if he hadn't got there, we may have lost this line. Really hope not, but... For them to put the top one of their top guys in there, I'm confident it's going to be around a while, and there might be some better product. But regardless, I do think so. they they fix that QC issue. But then we start moving in some other things that I've gotten, which I'm going to holla at Thousand Toys. What is up with this this Master Chief? I don't. I wanted this figure. I really wanted a good Master Chief, and I did want Halo One because that's the game that I fell in love with. The Thousand Toys figure made me want to get it once we got Hellboy. Once we got Hellboy, exactly, we wanted that Master Chief. But you got Master Even- Chief. But what the moment they said that Master Chief was going to cost more than Hellboy, mm. which made no sense in my mind, mm-hmm. uh, I was willing to pay the same amount as Hellboy, but not more. But I, I don't understand something. They gave us that Hellboy. They gave you Dante. They gave us that Abe. That Abe came after... Abe uh, Sapien. He came before. He was announced before. He did. So he was his design after. was probably done before. But these are good. They're fantastic. I mean, the fa- we, we had little nitpicks about the face. I but still good don't... Figure. I, if I could have a different head sculpt for that Dante, I would go and buy it today. Yeah. But I can't. But still, good quality on the pegs, articulation, all of that stuff, N- especially Nero, the soft The goods. other one. The, the other one in that line that has the robotic arm. Yeah fantastic start to finish i so, don't own it but it's awesome what went wrong who knows you want to hear another tiny fun? pegs and stuff just falling off the figure i didn't mention this in the review because i messed up on the review so forgive me you are not going to be getting a review of the avengers video game wave 2 line i didn't record half of it apparently yeah. it doesn't matter but it doesn't okay. matter i'm glad you didn't uh, that review is not coming out because i made a mistake talking about qc issues iron man oh there are at least two different spots on this figure where paint's just missing and I didn't catch it. Do tell. Let's see if you can. All right. I will give you a hint. Check the torso and check the legs. <laughs> okay. On the torso, as you found just now, oh, wow. there are four spots. One of the spots <laughs> isn't painted. Have you found the one on the leg yet? Yeah, I found the knee piece. The knee isn't painted either. It's that. a complete re-release, which is funny though, because in the Hasbro Pulse Con, she's talked to that woman. She talked about how amazing it was to give this Iron Man a complete redesign and how much fun it was, even though it's an exact repaint of Star Boost and just blue. I like to see Star Boost alongside this, but I did. I put it next to it. It's exactly identical. Mm-mm. There's not a single new piece on there. 
The only thing that was new is the head. And it, we know it had to have been just wow. a way to save money to get more comic book figures out. So they missed a paint swipe on there. Here you go. Yeah, they Ooh. did. Ooh, that's going to hit on the yeah. bike. <laughs> but then we start getting to other things. Like, okay, um, we got nice paint on our first wave of G.I. Joe figures. Fantastic. On the weapons. Fantastic. On the weapons. On the weapons. And then we got Gung Ho and Beachcomb. Or, what uh, Beach happened Land. there? And then we started looking at Cobra Commander and even... Cobra Commander I'm okay with. Him having an all silver weapon makes sense. That's Him fine. And they did two head. swipes of paint on the dagger. Having well. all gold weapons on the re-release that they'll give us later this year as the variant makes sense. But you're not wrong. The Target exclusive figures as well as Wave 2, were Animal solid Supreme. colored. What happened? Now, even Storm Shadow has the same white on the weapons, but he gave, they gave him the silver on the blade, which they better have. The <laughs> only one that I ever gave a full exception to, 100% exception to, was, Stor uh, was Snake Eyes. Him having all black makes weapons sense. makes sense He's for him. Ninja, yeah. And, of course, they also reused, modified them, mine, they reused so. them for, re uh, for the Red Ninja. Right. But... It made sense again. Yeah. But Gung Ho, I had Gung Ho Beachhead is the worst offender. God, that green is ugly. That green looks like I went out and bought dollar store army men figures in a pack and then decided to melt those down and made a gun. It looks like I 3D printed a weapon for cosplay, but then forgot to paint it. <laughs> they're, they're awful. The black ones are kind of passable because we've gotten that before in Hasbro's Marvel Legends series. Yeah, they just I give mean, us plain just black. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not uncommon. Well, but, you, know, you know what that means, though. Mm. We're just going to have to get a bunch of weapons from Valiverse. I mean, Valiverse... We, we, uh, need, we need to get their weapons packs. I'll tell you that I will buy multiple weapons packs the moment he says, he is, hey, by the way, look, it's a Jason and Nathan figure in our new he's Valiverse also, wave. Uh, he's announced he's going to do some other weapons in there. So He's also fixing part of the gung-ho. Did you see that you could buy... A, a total gung-ho pack. Did off you of, see you could buy gung-ho printable tattoos so you can acetone off the, the tattoo and that's on his chest? And put the correct one on there. put the correct one on there. Gotta say, I like that. Um, man, I still... Bobby had like an epic rant against the guy that's running uh, G.I. Joe now. It, it, the, the, and it was the a, line feels like it's both receiving love and doesn't. Yeah. Um, maybe they'll, uh, but maybe they'll get some criticism. It's something on. about Hasbro. But something then, about the people that they've hired for Hasbro is causing issues. Well, How, let's, that let's said, get into Mark, some other things on Hasbro as far as QC. Well, I, I just want to say this before we go further because okay. I don't want to end it halfway through that sentence. Oh, like sorry. there are there are people in Hasbro that absolutely love their lines. They do. They like the guy who runs the Marvel Legends figures. We can hear that passion when they I do streams. He gets so excited yes. to the point where when he showed me that damaged Thanos arm, I went, "He's doing something great," and I'm all for it. I give me that figure, like whatever, because that figure was top ten, wasn't it? Did we put that Thanos in top ten? Oh, we may not have because that was before I joined. Uh, yeah, the man. He would have been top ten for me. That would have been my number one figure for the year. Was that build a fig? Uh, not the build a figure, but the re-release of that Thanos. So he does a fantastic job. The Marvel team is in love, except for whoever was doing this Iron Man. I actually don't think she cares as much. Um, I could be wrong. It's, it does seem like she does love what she does. I absolutely they think they start reaching out to them. They need I, to come on the show. I think that she loves what she does. I'm not saying she hates the line, but then you have like the three quarter inch GI Joe characters where they would be insulting enough to put the classic looking retro style pictures on the packaging and then give you the modern looking figure in the box. Ooh, the audacity. The, yeah, no, people obviously are pissed about that. Um, and I like when they did the three quarter three when they did that renaissance of the three and three quarter line. Yeah. But it was the same. It was artwork that was current. Yes. But <sighs> get into some of the issues with QC though. We both own. Let's take for example, Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl cannot stand. It's the female body. They will not get away from that female mold. They need to redo this female mold. So right, and also I I got a recent. Um, hey, I need to, it's below the desk. I, it fell like right before I was getting started, but. I got a, a little MicroMaster Transformer. It's a little yeah. shuttle and it separates. But it can't stand up. How are figures making it out that cannot stand on their own? Is there no test for that? I guess not. 
But uh, there's a lot of QC did, issues did, that did fly Squirrel around. Did Squirrel get tested before they figured out, hey, guys, this this tail, it's a solid chunk of plastic that weighs more than the actual figure. Can we hollow this out? They could have saved some let's, money on plastic. Let's talk more Hasbro-related QC issues because that's the line that we That's what I'm into right now, yeah. That's, the, that's, that's our biggest line. It's not that we're, you know, law in love with Hasbro, which I am. Hasbro has got my wallet. But Power Rangers... SPD White Ranger. I know that's not the correct name for him. The Omega, Omega Ranger. Ranger. Uh, half of the people who were ordering that Amazon exclusive that was instantly sold out had a lot of paint issues. You are missing a section of silver paint on the mouthpiece of yours. Ha! I still haven't fixed that yet. <laughs> the White Ranger on that, the Omega Ranger himself doesn't have any paint on the back of him following the V. Mm. A lot of these figures just aren't coming through the line, and some of them you can make exceptions for. Let's say Dino Charge Red. He's got the silver, but Dino Charge Black doesn't. But Dino, uh, same thing with uh, who else is missing paint? That uh, let's just go with this one because this has been the biggest complaint. Even though I don't have a problem with it, the new Mighty Morphin Green Ranger wasn't painted with the white diamonds. I don't think eh. he. Ne- I don't think he needs it. Yeah. This is one of those figures where I don't think he needs it because of the fact that he's got the dragon shield. But a lot of people are upset about it because of the fact that it's an extra little paint swab that you could put in there, and even if it's uneven, like mine is, it's not a big deal to me. But where was the extra bit of love there? You put the silver on the helmet for that one scene in Dino Thunder. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where is the extra bit of love for some of these QCs? Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes the QCs are amazing. Right here. And I have a little bit of QC issues that I wish... And this is not a QC issue. I just wish they had extra paint. The Venom Pool. Super detailed. All of the staples are almost perfect. But you could have used a little bit of shadowing. Or there's a bit of paint smudge right here on mine on the belt but i said that that was okay since he's just venom pool and he doesn't really care you know it's that but where was the extra bit of love there like you put in all the love but you won't line up certain parts and then you send it out into the world so these are the two micromasters i'm talking about now here here, take this for a second go ahead stand him up (laughs) instantly falls over there's no heel spur or anything to keep him up now, they're trying to reimagine the MicroMasters, but you know what the MicroMasters back in the day could do? They could freaking stand. Yeah, like, I, you, it looks <laughs> almost like you have to, like, make it look like he's about to go on a... Like, this is the only way I could get Is he bowing stand. to say hello to me? Yeah, he's, he's uh, Tokyo Nigo. <laughs> hello. He was watching a lot of Tokyo. Well, he finished Tokyo. Tokyo is my favorite Super Sentai series to date. Now, and... Granted, I know there are a couple of QC issues that happen on uh, Masterpiece figures as well from Takara. Yeah, they are far and few between. They, they obviously have a bigger issue. What was that? The backpacks. Ah, uh, don't... No, I'm not going to go there. Hey, People are always I like have, backpack. I have yet to find the RED series yet. Good. They don't need to be found. I can't wait for them to have QC issues. But the backpack on there, it's solid and everything. they do, actually. Backpacks don't bother me on Transformers. They just don't. They're, they're trying to engineer something from one mode to another. Eh, as long as it doesn't fall over on the backpack. Like, take for instance, this Dinobot up here. One of Beast Wars, one of my favorite things. I cannot transform this thing because his head came broken. I had to actually melt plastic and reheat it and reform it just to get it to hold together. So I'm not sure where the audacity is of releasing something like that. Now, granted, apparently it was just mine. It was just my issue, and I just need to get it replaced. But the ones that we're seeing that are mainline problems, like Halo, how did that figure make it out of the factory with no one realizing that the joints do not hold together? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, granted, I'm pretty sure that the one-ups that they get or the samples that they get are hopefully together and they don't have any problems, but the ones I'm seeing are not. No, so far I've yet to see a figure that doesn't have it. Especially since we're crazy though. Three figures. Three figures. Four. 
Oh, four. four. And, and all but of it's them crazy. I watched a review before I went and picked this one up, and no one complained about it. Mm. I don't know why, because that was definitely an issue with everyone. But did you see the on camera for the review? Did I, they... I didn't. I didn't. I kind of skimmed through it, but they, they just said that it was an amazing figure from start to finish. I was like, great. I have good hopes, which is why I've been so pissed about the fact that mine doesn't work. Hmm. So, I... I... Paint swaps, I mean, missing paint swatches bother me, but... Lack of paint usually bothers me, too. Like, why does my Avengers character here have no paint on the back of the figure, but the black one, which is a re-release and repaint, does? <laughs> what? Yeah. It's completely different. Ooh. And they did it on the sides, too. Uh, if you lift up the side, the side's painted more. Uh, the, like I said, the back had more paint. Uh, they The shoulder pads, right, or the knee pads, I'm sorry. The knee pads have more paint on this one than they do on this one, uh, which we also didn't talk about the review. This There's a line on the gauntlet or on the glove as well. They took away the, you know, Captain America's flag right here on the oh. shoulder pads. But... Overall, this figure, the exact same figure, but in black, has more paint than the blue one that was supposed to be our standard Captain America release for that line. Why? Where's the consistency? Ugh. Why didn't you do that the first time? I mean, at this point, are we going to have, like, a worst figures of the year when we do our uh, list? Uh, no, because that would mean I'd have to keep the worst figures I have ever gotten. Ooh. That means he that just we... immediately extinguishes them from his collection sometimes i don't sometimes there are a few figures that i just throw in a box and i forget about yeah. which is one of the reasons why we're going through this whole like selling thing and no i'm not gonna pimp this out is my a bitchy episode we're I'm gonna not admit, gonna but, pimp yeah. out my ebay don't worry i'm not tell gonna... us some of the worst go ahead and share in the comments like some of the worst qc issues that you've been running into maybe it's a line we don't collect um it's true there are a lot of lines we don't collect i mean I like collect my figmas i'm fine with my overwatch figmas they're great those Overwatch Figmas, they're pretty I'm, good. I'm, I'm trying to like look other ones on the shelf that I, but consistently like consistency my... wise, it's not, it doesn't happen too often with certain figures. Like I don't think I've ever had an issue with Neca. I don't think I've ever had an issue with Solo Chagokin. But then again, but McFarlane, you know what? I, I better have. not have an issue with Solo Chagokin. McFarlane, I have the My Hero Academia figure. Sometimes oh, have really bad paint apps if it's a simple body like and that. And crazy all eyes. Like, yeah, but that, <laughs> that's, that's not a QC that's a issue. Sculpt that issue. was just a mistake to begin with. But yeah, no, it has some issues. There are just some QC problems that we just don't like here and there. And it, it bothers me a lot. But here we are. Uh, there's, yeah, you're right. I'm li I am looking around the room trying to figure out if there's any other things. You know, that... there was a spawn figure that I want. It was a six inch scale spawn. And it was the, the 100 series or whatever. It's super poseable, great cape. I had the figure, it took a dive, and it had clear joints. Uh, clear plastic for the joints, and it broke immediately, so I tossed it. You know, it goes for like 300 bucks in box. That's funny. That's ridiculous. And I'm just like, every time I see a bid, an, an eBay bid for it, I'm like, don't let it fall. Because <laughs> it is not going to be pretty. I'm still recovering from my, uh, <laughs> that's why I'm like, can't even laugh properly. I haven't really seen those type of QC issues with things like Black Series, though. Mm -mm, not anymore. Black Series had some problems. Even Marvel Legends has been pretty solid, except for really I'm complaining about there's there's a Squirrel few Girl. there's a few Marvel Legends that have their issues. They need they need to redo Wolverine's regular claws. They need they, to be they do. They've been getting better at it, but I don't count that as a QC issue. That's a sculpting problem. That's, that's just, just that's just, just practicality stop it. overall. Stop it. stop it. Just you know what I want fixed? I want the Captain America shields fixed, not the movie ones. I want ca uh, comic book Captain America shields to no stop more doing the stupid peg the system. Peg? Yeah, I don't like it. They now, break. Now, yeah, I um, what was the? Why do you think they're not on these caps? They're gone. The the three pack that had uh, Radiation Man, Miss Marvel, and a Captain America in there. I remember. That I one. bought one of those, and immediately the clip broke when I put it on the Captain America arm. Enough that I went back in the store. I said, "Nope, I want another one off the shelf." And then that one broke immediately and you didn't go back again because i just point, i just figured it was like... an extra captain america i don't need i think it had a civilian head i'm pretty sure it was a repaint of another one uh, but i wanted the, i wanted the miss marvel and i wanted the radiation wasn't head. that the one that came with no i'm okay i'm thinking of a different one that's not that wasn't sam's cap i i feel like that was the cap that was supposed to come with that one i'd have to look it up but still but the clip, I'll, I'll look it up you talk the clip did break um 
consistently broke. So I feel you on that one. That clip is, it's just, I don't know if it's plastic degradation or they've changed the mold that Captain America has. I think, what was the best shield from Marvel Legends? Hands down, the best shields I ever get from Marvel Legends is going to be the movie shields. The movie shields. The with movie the, shields. The small strap and the big strap. The yeah. Small strap, big strap. They don't fall off. They're very thick in the shield as well. Usually you have to take the trying hand to, off and lock it in. Trying to make a custom broken Captain America shield from Endgame was a nightmare because, because of, of those how two, yeah. thick it was. Exacto knives. Brand, I went out and bought a new Exacto knife to do that. Nope. Wouldn't go through. Uh -uh. I eventually gave up and just started scratching the hell out of it. I think they need to move on from the Daredevil Billy Clubs that we've seen with Night Thrasher, Mockingbird. Oh, and by the, by the way, you're right, but the repet... It, oh, that's an ugly figure. Well, Radiation Man, Captain America, and Miss Marvel, that figure is a Toy Biz style figure where it still had the ball oh. in the hips. Oh, It was a ball in the hips and it was a ball in the shoulders. Okay, now see... I say toy biz, but you, that this. Is so that big... shield was actually the clip system. That was a toy biz design. I, I it may have been toy biz because they bought some of those. Well, molds. the first the... because remember the first Captain America movie figure we ever got also had ball hips. I still have that figure. Oh, uh, I'm uh, the first Marvel Legends from Toy Biz Captain America who was in series one. He actually had a clip, but he also had two elastic straps. Is this true? So so you could put it on his back. But mind you, I found that figure the other day. Those last, there's no more elastic and no straps. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. it's from freaking, I don't know, 1990, whatever. But that's why the movie figures have the best shields. And I would just say, give me those. Just, you have the mold for them. Just comic book it up a little but bit But do you with keep paint. a peg to, maybe just a flip-in peg in the center to go on his back? Maybe. They, just maybe, use maybe, maybe just use a flip and not have the clip. Yeah, just the flip peg. Yeah. Hell, put it. Put a peg hole in his arm. I'm, trying, I'm trying, still trying to think like the worst QC issues that we run into. Looking at like figures. I MCU got figures show. generally don't have QC issues. They have they have design issues <laughs> because they're going based off. Well, of, I don't know if it's QC issue, but it's more of a decision with the gluing Deadpool's guns into his holsters. Which, yeah, that was just a stupid. That was decision, just dumb. But, sorry, sorry, Hasbro. It was dumb. But most of the time, Hasbro can be pretty on top of it, and they could also be not on top of it. It's. it's I don't see a lot of QC issues off NECA. I said that earlier. NECA didn't have any. I mean, at first, wait a minute. We, we go back to the dark days, though. We don't talk about those. Okay. <laughs> That's like talking about dark days of McFarlane statue-esque things that Todd's trying to bring us back to. No one wants them. Oh, anybody's looking for some uh, Spawn Kickstarter figures. There might be some eBay auctions up. I took mine down. I didn't. I took mine down until I have it in hand. I have six watchers on them. I might. I had more, but I took it down. I'm, I might get. I might get it later. Yes, we are getting rid of those. Just because we have decided to get rid of them because Todd didn't listen to us. He now, didn't, granted, fi he didn't I, fix the torso. He didn't fix the articulation. I want mine in hand first to look at it. Oh, I'm not even opening mine. Okay. Otherwise, I, I can't market it as unopened. Well, I'm, I want to see. At least I want to be able to sell something I have in hand, and we'll see. And yes, Todd might screw us and just release these things, but we'll see. If he the, doesn't, I may keep it. But he didn't fix the torso. The fact is, is multiple people ask for torso. And then, of course, you've got the people who are trying super hard to kiss his ass. Um, and if you look at those comments, because I commented. Oh, once, yeah. I, I commented I, once on the McFarlane. I saw your comment. Yeah, I commented about it. And people just tried to rip me a shred because they were like, oh, look at that. I'm paying you 80 bucks per figure, pretty Ooh. much. <laughs> I think that's what it was. I think I paid $80 total. It might have been 40 bucks per figure. Point is. I can buy the McFarlane Spawn Mortal Kombat figure for 20 bucks and get more articulation out of it than your 40 buck one was? And we're not going to even trip. That McFar that Mortal Kombat Spawn is great. I'm not going to lie to you. That McFarlane Mortal Kombat Spawn is top 10 figure of the year. He's oh, yeah, that got, is in this year. He is, he is in this year. It's just been a long damn year, man. He has been absolutely incredible. And I was that that figure was the reason we did the back exactly. Kickstarter. We got it because I was convinced he was going to give us that figure, but he was going to do the molds over mm -hmm. for those old classic designs. And he said, and I feel bamboozled. He said that we were going to get a moldable joint here in the uh, in the torso with a rubber overlay. And they the should have just done what they did here. With the the McFarland figures have that with the My Hero Academia ones. They have a rubber overlay and yep. they work fantastically. But he didn't do it. 
He said, you know what? It wasn't plausible. I'm going to take it away and just go ahead and make it's, it a static It is joint. plausible. You've done it. I've seen you do it. <laughs> I it, Let's face it. What I think is what it is, and I think this is what it comes down to, and I don't think it's because Todd doesn't like us. I think Todd set an unrealistic date for when it was supposed to be manufactured, Ooh. got scared of the date, decided to cut some corners because you can't get a refund on uh, on Kickstarter, and he's got his diehard well, he's got his diehard fans. With that, I mean, we've bought other Kickstarter things. We got Plunderlings. Plunderlings. I've got Action Force. We are understanding about there might be delays currently. Wonderlings was supposed to come out in April. Oh, yeah. They were supposed to already be in hand. They were, oh, February. February. They were supposed to be out in February. But regardless, they kept in with their communities, told them what was going on. Of course, we know what's going Dude, on. Dude, talks to me on a regular basis. He gets so excited. He's even said as soon as he's able to get some of the figures back, he's sending us an extra one just to review. So... I'm fine with that. We understand there are troubling times right now. We can be an understanding. And if you're not understanding at least of, hey, things are delayed right now because of a pandemic. Todd, take an extra four months to fix the torso. Totally would have been understanding. Look at Action Force. Action Force was supposed to be in hand by now. It's cool. They stay in their communities. They update them. They let them know what's going on. That's fine. I would rather just... I would rather it be late and have an explanation than have something that feels rushed. And yeah, They're not big companies. I mean, McFarlane is. McFarlane's a big company, so they should have had this down. But if you had been like, hey, you know that Hasbro figure that's supposed to come out, Cough Cough Eternals, and they didn't, I'd be like, where the hell are my figures? You already have this done. I, you're good. Why aren't they here? McFarlane, where's my stuff? I mean, we've seen other... Like current times. We've seen video game companies come out. Hey, this game's not going to be finished on time. Hashtag we get Avengers. it. We get it. That's fine. But let us know. Just tell us. They, well, a lot of video Take like a Cyberpunk that's been delayed. They were like, we would rather release a good product than one that feels rushed and half-assed up. And I was okay with it. When people tell me that, it tells me that somebody said, this is not up to speed. We need to wait. And I'm cool with that. I would rather you identify a problem before it gets to my shelf and in my hand after I've paid money. So I'm cool with that. You don't have to make the demand. You don't have to make the time all the time. Things are difficult right now. Okay. Well, we've complained enough and we're about 52 minutes in. And I think time the, to wrap it up. I think we need to go on. You got any shout outs? You I don't have this? a shout out, unfortunately. Well, why don't, can you, you got one you maybe want to look up or something? Because I have I, one. I actually have been. I've been trying to look stuff up. Okay, but. well, let me go ahead and um, I'm going to get mine up here. I am shouting out to at New Age Customs on Instagram. He, um, he has produced one of my favorite um, teams, the Wildcats. Let me get it. Let me get his uh, new age customs. Nope, nope, I got one. He responded to me. Uh, let me let me find it. I, I think I had the wrong one. New, oh, it's new. Sorry, new collector customs on Instagram. Uh, he's only got about five thousand followers, but this guy deserves more. He's been doing a lot of image figures as well. Like he just redid his Wildcats team, and I got to tell you, these are fantastic. So look at at new collector customs. On Instagram, fine work. Uh, he's followed by a couple of friends of mine, actually. Uh, he did a Thunderstrike custom that looks better than the one that we got. So, uh, my shout out is going to go to DZCon underscore toys. So it's DZKAN underscore toys. Only got about 2,000, almost 3,000 followers. But That's DZ I, Cons? DZKAN underscore toys. He's got some excellent looking oh, photography going on here oh wow and only and he hasn't hit three thousand yet oh, so he definitely deserves a follow give that guy a follow he's definitely like that all might one that's right front it, and center we were trying to mess with that kind of pose doing devastator and i thought that we did okay because of what we had that pose what he did there is phenomenal impressive work yeah he definitely does deserve some other uh, followers on here. But Jason, yeah. uh, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason the X. You can follow me on Instagram at the at the Near Plasma. You can follow me on Twitter, Near Plasma, and you can now follow me on Twitch, Near Plasma. 
All right. And of course, check out SCNS Live at SCNS Live on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook.com slash SCNS Live. You can also check out Alternate Heads Podcast, exactly like that. Alternate Heads Podcast on Instagram. So we're going to be doing some streaming as well and some games. Uh, yeah, what channel can they find your streams on or look for some playback on? Well, just set it. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Near is where you can find mine personally. Jason and I have already streamed together recently. And we're doing uh, it again we, on Saturday. We, well, we, this it, show it'll comes out on happened, Tuesday. Sorry. You, it'll be recorded on mine. I'm doing a Resident Evil stream on this Saturday. Uh, so today. watch, our, stream, watch but, our social media for when we're going to be streaming. Yeah, it's if you go to my social media as well i'll post whenever i'm on streams but like today once it all have already happened jason will be a part of our among us game today Yay. uh jason and i played last time to which we pulled off the strat perfectly yes. and that's in the vi- that's in a video clip as well that was hilarious you died for a good cause <laughs> damn it why did it have to be me <laughs> <laughs> It was so funny too. I just want to be. We were talking to m when she was done <laughs> and she was just like she was the other imposter she was like the moment he got him out first. I knew I was screwed. <laughs> I wanted to go, aha! <laughs> got him. All right. Well, that's been our show, guys. Uh, I promise next week Bryce will be back. We're going to make sure that we're in our chat. Two weeks. Not next week. Oh, when weeks Bryce now, will come weeks. back, I will make sure to bring Bryce back. He was uh, playing it up for the uh, for the laughs on the, uh, on the show on uh, SCNS Live about your little... Uh, gag I'm oh did he the... did he talk about it oh yeah i stream when you guys do that so unfortunately i can't watch but you need, you don't, don't stream during our show i've already established it no you need to stop nope tuesdays thursdays and saturdays don't stream during our show. anyway that's it for us guys always like our buddy dan over at toy galaxy says always leave one for the next collector i love that but always stop and smell the plastic we'll catch right, you guys later go find